Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me a video that's called a short. There's no talking and they can't quite grasp, but it's really a pretty easy one. We're going to take and make a perfect uh, square. I'm going to make it three inches. I am going to set my nudge factor. I'm going to set my nudge factor to three and I'm going to control D, control D. But then I'm going to take this one and hit the plus key and go up because if I would have hit control D, it would have put another one. Now, plus key and move that one up. I'm going to take this shape and I'm going to grab a two point line and I'm going to go from that node to that node. Then I'm going to take the virtual segment delete key and delete those lines and those lines. This way I have a shape. I need that square. So we're going to fill that in with the smart fill tool and I'm going to nudge it over and then I can take my shape. And the good thing about this square, uh, we don't have to rotate from the center of the page like I normally do. So let's move the whole thing over. And then I am going to click on this item and get the interactive fill tool. And I'm going to go from there downward. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to add some black. Um, but what I'm going to do a little differently, I'm going to take that one. I'm going to take away the outline. And I'm going to go up to edit and clone it. Now, I'm going to double click on the rotation. I'm going to put it in the center of that box. And I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And then I control D, control D. Now, this is our clone curve, control curve. I can get the interactive fill tool back out. And I can change it and make it darker or lighter. But it's making all of them uh, pretty cool. And what's kind of neat about that, I'm going to actually put the outline back. It's amazing if you look at these two side by side, if we just rotate one of them 45 degrees, it really, it makes it more dramatic to me anyway. This looks okay, but that that really shows off the, uh, it looks like it's a twisted box. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.